All right, now we have the latest edition of oh, Kamala Harris debate. This time it involves Plies, no. hip hop rapper extraordinaire Plies, who has a message to black men who don't vote for Kamala Harris. So here we go. Um, the what do you call it? What's the word you use? Boulets. Um, yeah, I had to look boulet. that up. I yeah, never, I never heard that word. I never heard that word before. I had to look that up. Yeah. But yeah, the, the 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 weaponization of identity politics is in full effect um, with Kamala Harris. And here is another agent in this way, uh, Mr. Plies, who has an issue with black men who don't vote for Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. So um, we have talked about Kamala Harris on this channel at this point several times. I encourage anybody uh, to go through our library and check out some of those videos and let us know what you think. This will be the latest addition to that, obviously. But this says, Plies questions black men who don't support Kamala Harris. Plies addresses black voters who won't be supporting Kamala Harris in the upcoming presidential election in a post on X on Saturday. In doing so, he told them to look to their own daughters or nieces. Dear black men who searching for reason to not like Kamala Harris, look your daughters or nieces in their face and tell them it'll be men like yourself who are going to question their blackness, their resume, and their existence if they ever try to do the impossible in this country. <laughs> his argument garnered mixed results from his followers. One user replied, we evaluate political figures based on their policies, actions, and track record, regardless of their race or gender. Holding our leaders accountable ensures that those in power genuinely advocate for the interests of the communities they represent. Others agree with the hypnotized rapper. Talk to him, one user wrote. Plows has been very vocal about supporting Vice President Kamala Harris since she took over for Joe Biden and campaigning as the Democratic nominee. Um, quote, this was a sad day for mainstream media and everyone else who took pride in beating up on an 81-year-old man who had a speech impediment sh sh stuttering disorder. Plies wrote online after Biden dropped out of the race. Y'all hoped it never ended. Y'all treated him like the convicted felon and treated the convicted felon like he was the president. Uh, Harris was running against former president Donald Trump, who recently earned the endorsement of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Check out Plies' remarks on Kamala Harris below. So there is the Twitter post on what Plies had to say. So um, this is uh, identity politics being used as a weapon, in my opinion. But I will let you give your thoughts on Plies uh, chastising black men who feel some type of way and don't want to vote for Kamala Harris, saying that they're going to have to look their daughters and nieces in the face and tell them that it's because of people like you, black men, who are not voting for Kamala Harris, who are going to have to, uh, who are who are who are going to have to face the music when their daughters and nieces' blackness and all and 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 resume are questioned when they try to achieve greatness. That's his logic. So what do you make of what Plies had to say? Uh, man, I mean, similar to Anthony Edwards, just uh, not informed, just a not informed take. And the irony here coming from Plies himself, uh, one who actually, um, you know, makes music about felons and stuff like that, like as if, you know, as as if like, hey, man, we we people too, dog. We humans too. So, but a convicted felon is running for president, so that's a problem now. But I, I I mean, I'm pretty sure in some point of his career, in conversation or something like that, he would argue that why can't even convicted felons vote? Why can't convicted felons carry arms? Why couldn't a convicted felon actually be president? And this is some from somebody that's coming from the streets who's always vouching for street and street dudes who are running around here with felonies. So for him to use felony as a four letter word in order to promote this woman comes off very ironic to me. The next thing is that uh, what else did he say? Oh, the, the whole thing about, um, you know, tell your, your daughters and your nieces and all this other stuff that men like you, you know, what, what, do, what do you get at that? And so, and, and uh, for, you know, my daughter or my niece or whatever, and I'm sitting there and I'm talking to them, I would explain to them in very great detail why I wouldn't vote for this woman of color. Okay. And, uh, and um, it, it wouldn't be a reason why it wouldn't be a thing that me telling them that they couldn't run. I would say, I would say in a situation that this woman here, she doesn't pass the sniff test 
because of her track record and her history. You, you want to talk about, you know, resumes and stuff. This woman here, you go look it up, everybody. This, 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 this dude running around right now and, uh, you know, doing interviews and stuff like that, expressing how this woman here was keeping him in jail under false pretenses and prison under false pretenses, trying to give him 50 years uh, just so she can look good in her district, just so she can look good in California. And so, of course, it all comes out that, hey, this guy gets exonerated. All of the stuff that she was holding against this man. This is this is this is the woman here. This is on her resume, putting black men in prison unjustly. So for plus, a man who's supposed to be representing the streets and street people. And, and he want to sit here and vouch for a woman with a resume like that. So I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and let him try to talk down to me. Plaz. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to let I'm not going to let you do that, bro. So so, you know, you can take this check or whatever you got, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they clearly cut you a check. Hey, man, get these street dudes on our side. Um, you know what I'm saying? They got plies going. They got Uncle Luke going crazy. You know, my, you know, South Florida's taking L's with this one. And so, yeah, they, they, so, so plies, uh, Luke, um, you know, what's the other guy name? Uh, Tavis, not Tavis Smiley. What's the boy? Uh, Ricky Smiley. Um, Steve Harvey. I mean, these dudes are coming out of the woodwork attacking us as, as black people. Just because we have an opinion. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Plaz. I can't go for this. Your contradictions are all over the place with this one. You don't have a leg to stand on with this. And honestly, if I was some street dude that was running around as a felon that, that looked up to this dude because he was supposed to be the voice and mouthpiece for me. And I know about Kam uh, Kamala's uh, resume and all that stuff. And you still want to sit there and turn your back on us to vouch for her. I would not be a fan of this man no more. But uh, hey, man, who knows? Hopefully these guys out here doing their research instead of saying he eating. But what are your thoughts, man, on Sir Pla saying that, hey, you ain't black if you vote for Kamala? What are your thoughts, bro? That is essentially what he said. So, yeah. you know, he goes, uh, black, dear black men who's searching for a reason to not like Kamala Harris, look right. your daughters and nieces in their face and tell them it'll be men like yourself who are going to question their blackness. So based upon that statement, it sounds like he has a problem with the existence of the dynamic of black people's blackness being questioned. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that he views Kamala Harris being voted as a mechanism by which we can move forward towards eradicating that. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in his mind, he believes as though Kamala Harris being voted um, puts us in a step in the right direction towards eradicating the, the existence of people, black people's blackness being questioned based upon decisions that they made. So in other words, however, if one does not vote for Kamala Harris plies, I would imagine you yourself is going to question that person's blackness. Mm -hmm. So like if, if any other black person doesn't vote for Kamala Harris implies his mind he's questioning their blackness. Mm -hmm. How is that any better or worse? Right? Like how is that in, how is that any different rather than mm -hmm. what you're suggesting when you say uh black men not voting for Kamala Harris is perpetuating the narrative of black women's blackness being questioned. You're putting into the atmosphere the idea that Black people have to monolithically adhere to certain themes in order to reinforce their blackness. So in a roundabout way, and I don't even know if he realizes this or not, but in a roundabout way, when you put a statement out like that, you're reinforcing the very thing that you protest to, to that you protest against. Exactly. Which is a black woman's blackness being questioned. Mm -hmm. Because you're saying if you don't vote for this woman, your blackness is in question. Yep. You're literally doing both of those things simultaneously. You can't make that up. Mm -mm. I I have to believe he does not realize that he's doing that. Otherwise, why would you say that? That doesn't make any sense. Like, honestly, more like I can go on and on about identity politics, mm -hmm. obviously. But really, this confuses me more than anything. 
You know, it would be like a basketball player saying, you know, for all y'all basketball players out here who can't shoot, you know, um, you know, don't put it out. Don't put it out there that if you can't shoot, you're not a real basketball player, even though you need to be able to know how to shoot. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, that's double talk if I've ever heard it. <laughs> like he's literally he's literally simultaneously saying if you don't vote for her, your blackness should be questioned, but mm -hmm. you should vote for her because we want to eliminate black people's blackness being questioned. Yes. <laughs> so this is a rudimentary form of identity politics to me, and I, of course, don't agree with it. But, you know, honestly, I could have predicted this. This is just what's going to happen here. Um, here's what I'll do constructively. In my opinion, if you are black and you are an independent thinker, don't listen to people like Plies. Now, that does not that does not mean don't vote for her. Vote for whoever the hell you want. But mm -hmm. it needs to be a person. You need to vote for her because you believe, based upon your own research and your edification of the issues, that she is the right person for you. Not because you believe that because you're black, you're supposed to vote for her. Because as Dogon put out there, there is a record of her public service, which shows that for at least a period of her career, mm -hmm. she was actively being anti-black. In certain <laughs> yes. In in, in certain res in certain respects yes 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 now that to me is not something that like i've been off this dnc train i've already talked about how you know stop and frisk was implemented during a democratic administration with with the clintons like these were things that adversely directly impacted black people mm -hmm. and they were impacted during a presidential administration that most people view as good for black people, which was Bill Clinton's administration. Meanwhile, in New York City, they were actively implementing stop and frisk. And out West, they were actively implementing three strikes. So like, you know, you need to do your own research and not allow people to, to utilize these bully tactics and mm -hmm. having you believe that because you look a particular kind of way, you have some sort of moral obligation to exercise your right. You don't. You don't. And again, that does not mean you should not vote for her. I don't give a shit who you vote for, but it has to be a decision that you're making for yourself based upon your personal situation and those you care about. If you got a family, what's going to make the most sense for your family and all of that good stuff? Don't just do it mechanically because you feel like you're obligated to do so without researching the issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what is your personal setup? People who work up, People who wake up and work for a living and take their kids to school, for example, don't care about what's going on at the border. Yet the border is her current claim to fame, at least publicly. Mm -hmm. So like these are things that most people on a day to day basis are not thinking about. So do your due diligence on the issues before you decide to blindly pencil in your bubble sheet for one particular individuals. And just don't listen to people like Plies because it's people like Plies who will have you believe that being an independent thinker is inherently wrong. And it's not. Hey, man, well said, bro. But I'm telling you right now, the, the, the they commissioned Plies. Uh, because, so he can talk to a particular demographic. Now, we covered when she tried to pay Kai Sinat uh to to cover her and to vouch for her but you know they got charlemagne on payroll like i said they got uh smiley on payroll uh steve harvey uh and now you, you we can throw in plies uh who got a check for this quavo uh, quavo <laughs> you know meg <laughs> Stallion, right so um yeah so uh there's a clip floating around online right now um a uh, kamala saying me, you know, do something just for black people? No, no, I'm not going to just do something just for black. No, and um, so what are her policies for black people? Can anybody tell me that? That's telling me to vote for this woman. You know, all these all these boule people unmuting and telling me what to do with my mind. Uh, what what is she talking about doing for our people? For the people who. And that's a that's a very good question. And that's specifically for the people who participate in this process based on this stuff. Exactly. 
Right. So if your participation in this process is based on race. Right. Yeah. You need to be asking yourself those questions exactly. for sure. They 100%. Say, they say vote for her because she's black. OK, fine. What is she going to do for black people? <laughs> and she says, well, I'm not going to do anything for black. No, no, I'm not just black people. at all." So, OK, so what am I here to do? And then Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey goes, see, I'm, I give her these easy questions so she can slam dunk it. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and ask her what she going to do for our black people. If I tell, if she said and tell what she going to do for black people, she's not going to get elected. We got to play the game. No, no, no. You playing us, Steve Harvey. Y'all, the, 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 this, this, this uh, party has been playing this game with black people since uh, civil rights and beyond. And they're, play they're playing the same game. And so my thing is, so for the people out there that do have a mind for themselves, people that did do history checks and, and, and look on things and fact check this woman's past and stuff like that, who have a mind for themselves, are going to question her. And just because I'm questioning this woman and her integrity and what she stands for and what she all about, that doesn't mean that I'm questioning my own blackness or anything else in between. It's actually the opposite. Exactly. You're being you're being more black by questioning it. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. The irony of this entire situation is back. <laughs> so so for so for these people try to trying to guilt trip me into me, me being not black, uh, because I'm questioning this woman. It's, it's the it's the most ridiculous thing ever. And then so when um when you look at the political arena and who actually gets things done for them after somebody gets elected, it's because they actually have, um, what's the, uh, what do you call those things? Lobby groups. And black people, we don't have a legitimate lobby group. Our lobby groups have been co-opted and compromised or just completely built from the ground up by another people. But I can tell you this, the Asian community that has their lobby uh, action going on here that got enough to get the Asian uh, Asian hate bill passed. OK, these pe those people that's run by Asians. And, and uh, you know, the uh, the Israel situation, they have their own lobbyists. Everybody has their own lobbyists. And so but when they look at our lobby groups, the NAACP compromised. Uh, what's that? Uh, the the Black Caucus compromise. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter compromise. And these are the things that 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 are they're vouching for us. Black Lives Matter. You go on their page, you see a whole bunch of rainbow colors. They're not standing for us. NAACP. Hell, they are giving an award the power uh and P Valley. <laughs> they're not looking out for the best interests of our people. And these are the lobby groups that's sitting up there talking to the politicians. So we don't have a real lobby group. That's our problem isn't having a black politician. Our problem is the black lobby groups that are up there running with fat cats and boule people. So what is the real problem here? Is it the political system or is it or is it um, us not voting for, uh, you know, somebody because of their identity? Uh, the political system's a racket. And everybody that's supposed to be representing us in the lobby groups and the lobby areas and all that stuff like that are not working for us. So sorry, Plaz. You you just took another you just took a, a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing right now? What are you what are you what are you doing? What are you streaming something? What are your album coming out? What do you got going on? You got absolutely nothing. And so he's only pandering to everybody that's on his IG because nobody follows him on any other platform. And so he just dropped this on his IG to all the street people. So my thing for all the street people out there, if somebody's watching this or whatever, whatever, my thing is, is he insulted y'all by, 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 by insinuating that this woman's record um, isn't a reflection of y'all life when y'all got the gavel banged on you in the wrong and in a just way. This woman did the same thing and now she wants to run for president. What do you think she's going to do with the rest of, uh, you know, when she really got power? So sorry, Plaz. I'm not buying any of this identity politi politics garbage. Um, sorry, Kamala. Not voting for you. But hey, Trump, I'm not voting for you either, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's, it's just disappointing. But, you Get know, um, you know, it is what it is. 
I think people should do an ample amount of research on the history of the DNC. Uh, yes. And then just look up what her record of public service is. Uh, yes. it, it can't be all about the border. Uh, what, you know, her record as a prosecutor and things of that nature, just without, without applying the lesser of two evils yes, angle to inform your decision. Yes, um, what is it about her record of public service that makes sense? And my thing is, I'm not necessarily, I'm not trying to champion either side. But what I do champion is doing something mechanically without having a mind of your own behind it. So if you want to, if you want to vote for her, go for it. But it needs to be, it, it needs to be a decision that you're making of your own volition. It can't be because you feel as though you have a moral obligation to do so based upon certain parameters that you quite frankly, don't have any control over. Uh, it just has to be something that you're doing because you feel deeply that it is something that would be right for you. Uh, and don't apply the lesser of two evils argument where you say you have to do it for her, you have to vote for her because voting for the other side would be worse off. Um, not that that is necessarily right or wrong, but you just need to have your reasons behind it. But this stuff is just it's a very slick Jedi mind trick. And I'm trying to tell you guys, like. The same people who you fear will question your blackness because you're not voting for her. You're not voting for her are the same people who are going to champion people like Megan Thee Stallion performing at rallies. Exactly. How is that? An, how is that a decent reflection of your community? Exactly. Uh, especially on a broad political stage. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, but I just think people shouldn't listen to people like Plies. Uh, in my opinion, don't listen to people like him. Just don't. Even people who come from his walk of life, even street people, I don't care. Don't listen to him. Y'all can, y'all can, y'all got phones too. Wikipedia right. is free. Just look up stuff. It's there right there for you. You can learn it, you know, and, and, and the little voice that's telling you there's something that's not all the way right with going through with this, even though my cultural edification is forcing me to do it. Listen to the little voice and go the other way. Just go a yep. different route. Be yep. independent. Yep. 100, bro. Get out of here, Plows. Yeah, I don't like that, man. This stuff has got to stop. <laughs> it's really like it's, this is aggravating. Tugging at my heartstrings, talking about my daughters and my nieces. Get yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy. Jeez. Oh, okay.